Hi, I'm Kat Segawa from Department of Medical Chemistry at the Medical Research Institute, TMDU. Our body is composed of about 37 trillion cells. Cells are composed of primarily of lipids, nucleic acids, and the proteins. But the little is now about how they are organized to live. In fact, we cannot create cells from scratch. Dr. Richard Feynman, a famous physicist in the US, said, what I cannot create, I don't understand. Our goal is to understand how cells work and what makes life possible, as well as find out the causes of diseases. Now we are studying the plasma membrane of mammalian cells. This membrane acts as a barrier that separates the inside of a cell from the outside and plays a major role in transmitting biological signals. The plasma membrane has a unique structure where phospholipids are asymmetrically distributed. Usually, phosphatidylcholine is enriched in the outer leaflet, and phosphatidylserine is confined to the inner leaflet. Sometimes cells can change this asymmetrical distribution. Dying cells show phosphatidylserine on the cell surface, and in these cases, macrophages can recognize and remove them using phosphatidylserine receptors. However, how cells control phospholipid distribution is not fully understood yet. We use a method called forward genetics to identify molecules that can change the distribution of phospholipids in the plasma membrane. Now we are studying free bases which maintain asymmetrical distribution of phosphatidylserine. Recently, we found a patient with a mutation in the free base that causes developmental and neurological disorders. This mutation causes the free base to translocate the wrong phospholipids, leading to the disease. Free base mutations have also been found in patients with anemia and cholestasis. We are also looking for other types of molecules that control membrane lipid distribution in the plasma membrane, and investigating how changes or mutations in these molecules can lead to human diseases. We are looking for team members who are passionate about discovery and want to learn more about how cells work and how this relates to diseases using 4 genetics. Thank you for watching.